Oh man, we have some baby chickens, our meat birds. We looked out the window and they were getting out for some, somehow they were getting out. I don't know, let's see what's going on here. Right there, the opening's right there by the, the bucket, behind the bucket. So there's an opening right right in here. Little sneaky birds. <laughs> I hope we didn't lose any. Can someone open the door for me? I got you. This hole right here. Find every which way. I should probably move it anyways. here and step all over the plant. <laughs> if you put your foot right here, see there's like a red tomato here, right there, and then there's some red, um, yellow ones there. If you could get those. Oh, there's a big, I don't even know if these are good. It, no, it's not good. <laughs> Someone got to it before I we know, did. Like all these right Ooh, look at this one. I'm pick them before the bugs get them. All these. I don't know what's happening to this plant. Like it lost all of its leaves, but it's still. I don't. I think it's just dying. I think our main crop right now is the tomatoes. I mean, that's keep on. They're keeping on producing, so we're just trying to keep up with them, trying to pick them before they die. But. You, they don't look too healthy, the plants. So I think they're on their last leg here. Well, we did get a lot of tomatoes though. Oh, that's good. That looks good from the back. I can see it like far away. Oh, this one's a perfect one. It's like perfect. I do not remember what varieties we actually planted. <laughs> I don't either. I don't remember. I know like, one is aroma, but I think that one might be in the, the greenhouse. I don't know, because we were yeah. getting starts too, so. Right, I mean, some of them are this little, some of them are this big, some of them are bigger than that. So I know there are some homestead tomatoes, those, uh, what do they call them, mortgage lifter tomatoes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was beef a steak tomatoes, beef steak. They call them. I think we do better with the small to medium sized tomatoes rather than the, than the big beef steak tomatoes. Yeah, the more we grow tomatoes, the more we garden, um, you know, you, you kind of figure out what works for you, what's working, what's not working. I'm thinking that the bigger, big tomatoes are not working because they just either get too big and they just, the whole plant just falls over or bugs get to it. Um, we can't get to it fast enough. So I'm thinking the medium, what'd you say, the medium size? Small to medium. Small size. to medium size ones are, are the way to go for us anyways. Like these are already dying, these beefsteak tomatoes. There's some bell peppers growing. Right here. Bell peppers, a little late to the game, but they're showing up. So sad. It's so juicy in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Uh, this is a reenactment of me picking our first tomato, <laughs> our first potato. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh man, I should have got that on camera. So this is a reenactment. Oh, I'm gonna check these. Whoa, look at this! Yes. Potato! <laughs> so that was the end of the reenactment.
<laughs> That's like the, the biggest one we've ever grown. <laughs> Usually they're really tiny. I think it was done because it was like off the stem, right? It was yeah. already off the stem. We might wait maybe a day or two. What yeah, to get the rest of them. Just yeah. Because we bought a bag of them. We, yeah, store. we don't have time right now, but. <laughs> So this whole row was about 25 pounds of potatoes that we planted. So I'm curious to see how they did. I'm looking for these vines. Some of them go all the way over here. But I'm looking for the pods. Like, see here? This one? That's not dry. It's still green. So they're dry and they're ready. See, actually they could be a little drier, but that's what the Christmas lima bean looks like. Oh yeah, here's the one with the pretty red beans. They're called Christmas lima beans. I'm so excited about these. And I only started out with three of these seeds. And out of the three seeds, only two plants grew. So this is what I was able to get from two plants. So hopefully next year either I can plant all these beans and get a whole bunch of plants and more lima beans. Or I can eat, or we can eat them for dinner. <laughs> we might eat them for dinner. But I'm, I just don't want any of the pods on the floor or the beans because some of the pods split open. Oh, see, here's some pods right here. I could pick them green like this and then just string them up on the inside of the houses, which we, we've done before last year, and they'll dry out that way. But I'm going to leave them on the vine. I don't know what's going on under here, but we should check it. I, I have to go turn off the oven and then we can, we can check it. I'm gonna bring this down. I haven't picked up, haven't seen these row covers in a while. We chopped them all down, which we have some kale, some leafy greens in here. It looks like it all we grew. Like kale is an amazing crop. If you cut it, it will grow even better. A lot, of, a lot of worm damage. If you grow more than what you need, a little bit for the worms, for the insects, a little bit for us, everyone's happy, right? <laughs> I cut all that down, so I don't know what is growing under there. Oh, yes. Let's check under this row. Wow. Collard greens. Yeah, we cut all this back. And look how good they're growing. Well, first we trimmed it all. Pretty much just cut it down. Two weeks and they're back growing under the row covers. Pretty amazing, pretty, pretty amazing. What is that, Penelope? It's a pickle plant, you eat it. What, what, why is it called a pickle plant? Because it, it tastes like pickles. Is it good? Sour. Let me see. It tastes like pickles? Like dill pickles? It's kind of sweet though. Citrusy? Yeah, it's citrusy. It's a weed. <laughs> All right, we hadn't been out here in a couple days. That was a good harvest that we had. The garden's still producing late in the season. Our fall crops, I don't know. I'm, I don't, I'm not confident that they're gonna do well for us. There's still a lot of bugs and those are getting eaten and they're dying off already before they even have a chance to grow you know we're putting away we're saving we're canning we're freezing everything that we possibly can nothing's going to waste we're either doing that or giving it away but it's really keeping us busy we are we are so grateful for this garden this year whoa let me smell that you got a muscle there <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is this, Penelope? Peach crisp. Don't touch it, it's really hot. Peach crisp? Fresh mm -hmm. out of the oven. We're about to eat this pe peach crisp. Gluten free? It's gluten free. Right. Refined sugar free. Ooh. Actually, there's really, I didn't use any sugar. I just used peaches. Cooked down peaches. All right, let's eat. 